Good evening, everybody, or good afternoon. And um, I'd like to uh, begin by making a very important announcement. Anybody have any cell phones on them or the like? Please make sure you turn off your ringer. I was performing a bar mitzvah last year, and a ringer went off during the ceremony. I was very upset, especially when I found that it was my own cell phone. So <laughs> that is very self embarrassment. So welcome to Because God Loves Stories, our annual storytelling concert in memory of our dear friend, Alec Geltzer. My name is Ali Rubenstein, and before we do anything else, I'd like to start off the afternoon with a piece of music from one of our dear friends, one of our dear friends and supporters, one of Canada's most acclaimed musicians, Mr. Brian Katz. So please give a hand to Brian Katz. So when I was thinking about what to do, uh, I realized that I had uh, written a song about Newfoundland and it being uh, Canadian theme this year, that seemed apropos. And uh, especially apropos in that it's a memorial concert, it got me thinking about my dad who I lost this year. And um, had not been for my dad, I don't think I would have gone to Newfoundland as early as I did, uh, first time being about 15 years ago. And my dad served in the uh, Second World War uh, in Newfoundland when it was, of course, a country. And uh, I was always curious as a kid, I said, you know, Dad, what did you do in the war? And uh, he really ne never gave much of an extensive answer, but one day he brought over this photo album. He opened it up and it was full of, it was a beautiful woman. <laughs> and uh, then, then he started telling me, you know, this is Sheila, this is Sarah, and, uh, but Dad, what did you do in the war? And, you know, he said a little bit, but it was really interesting. The last year and a half, uh, he was at the, uh, the Veterans Center in, in Sunnybrook, a wonderful facility. And I heard so many stories there. And at that point, my dad started, um, you know, being in the company of people that were, of course, immersed in the war. Uh, he started talking about stories as well. And I, I began to hear things that I'd never heard before, that he had actually uh, been transporting uh, POWs and, and, and how, how mixed his feelings were. And it was really, Quite an experience. Anyhow, I went to Newfoundland 15 years ago because my dad said this is just the most beautiful place and the friendliest uh, people on the planet, and he was absolutely right. One fellow I met on a place called Admiral's Cove, which is mentioned in the song, uh, said to me, Brian, everyone that I've ever met, I've also heard their singing voice. That just touched me so much. I wrote this song called This Song called Newfoundland. I started it just as I was uh, approaching Newfoundland. And uh, I was a little bit scared that I might get seasick because as a kid, I always got sick even from swings. But I had a dream just before I crossed over. Last night I had a lovely dream. The sea, she spoke to me. She sang about her lovers, said that I was meant to be. She told me I was ready like the others I believed. But deep inside, in my fear, she helped set me free. So I left Nova Scotia's shores aboard for Newfoundland. Fifteen hours across her outstretched hand. The spine it was a tingling. My belly full of laughs. I knew this love affair was going to last. In Admiral's Cove, the people told me stories about their isle, hardships and misfortunes, but always folded with a smile. I, their humor runs aplenty as the challenges they face, but their joy is cause they're anchor to their place. And they sing like a circle never ends. Atlantic waters, pristine lover, thank you for your hand in showing me the song called Newfoundland.
them to Ontario with riches I pull. A dream to see the rock that seems all stirring to my soul. Easter post that I delighted, I feel sad to leave you now. But I'll carry your great spirits with me and sing them way out loud. Yes, I'll sing them on the ocean and the ocean sing to me. Our song moves like a circle endlessly. Atlantic waters, pristine love makes me ever glad. Sing with you this song called Newfoundland. And to sing with all of you this song called Newfoundland. What a great way to start our afternoon, Brian. That was wonderful. You know. Brian doesn't just sound fantastic when he plays guitar, he sounds fantastic even when he's tuning his guitar. I wish I could sound that good. Uh, a couple years ago I was performing a bar mitzvah and I was playing a little bit of guitar during the service and Getty Lee, from the bass player from Rush, was in the audience and after the bar mitzvah he comes over and says to me, Rabbi, I don't try to get his, give sermons, why do you try to play guitar? <laughs> he didn't say that, but he was thinking it, I promise, and he would have the right to. So anyway, another big hand for Brian. <laughs> Back later in the show for a few more uh, appearances along with Jim Geltzer. We're all looking forward to that very much.